Hello everyone. Another episode of Heartland Season 16 just dropped. The ninth episode of the season was called True Colors, New Tricks, and it focused on different storylines while bringing a new character into the series. Let's go over what happened in Heartland Season 16, Episode 9. This episode was all about seeing and knowing one's true nature and whether it was possible to change it. Amy was working with a client horse, which used to be a Bronx trained to be a rodeo horse. But now Amy's client wanted the horse to be a trail ride horse, and we saw Amy trying to train him throughout the episode. While Amy believed in this change, Jack was feeling the exact opposite. He kept saying that the horse was a Bronx and it wasn't possible for Amy to change the horse's true colors. However, as you probably also understood, this argument was not only about the horse, it was more than that. It was about Amy falling in love with Finn and Jack not approving of this relationship. After Amy realized what Jack was talking about, the two started arguing over Finn. Jack claimed that Finn had a big part of his grandfather, L, in him, so he couldn't be trusted. He said that Finn was selfish, careless, and unreliable, which meant trusting him would only hurt Amy. On the other hand, Amy tried to convince Jack to see Finn, not as a copy of his grandfather. Finn wasn't responsible for what Al did back in the day. So while Jack argued that the Cotter family, just like the horse, couldn't be changed, Amy believed in the change. We expected this dispute to end at the end of the episode, but it didn't. Jack and Amy didn't make up in the end. Jack was still behind his beliefs while Amy was believing in Finn. The last scene of the episode showed Finn's voicemail to Amy, in which he talked about how much he's been thinking about Amy and how much he's been missing her. Of course, Amy was walking on air, filled with joy after hearing the message. Our girl is definitely in love, but we are afraid Jack will be right at the end and Amy will get hurt. We hope at least the family doesn't break up over this. Jack has been a great support to Amy for all these years. We hope this continues. We should also talk about what happened with other characters. If you remember what happened last week, Jessica was hired to work with a new brand, Grace and Holt. And in this week's episode, Holt came to Heartland with Ezra to get inspiration for his new collection. We also finally learned what we knew all along. Ezra is in love with Jessica and wants her to break up with Tim. Tim was smart enough to realize this and Jessica was naive enough to think that Ezra was her friend. They finally confronted one another and Jessica told Ezra how much she loves Tim. She also said if Ezra doesn't apologize to Tim, they will not be friends anymore. He didn't apologize, but perhaps we'll see it happen in the rest of the season. Another plotline of the episode was related to Lou and Rick. Since the beginning of the season, Rick has been doing most of the important work at the mayor's office while Lou was away in Vancouver or Florida. But in this episode, we saw Lou completely undermining Rick's work and making him run errands. At a mayoral event where Lou was thanking everyone that helped the town while she was away, Rick couldn't stand Lou not thanking her and stormed out of the room. He even told Lou that he was resigning, but it turns out Lou has made preparations for Rick to be the guest of honor at the event. She even prepared a cake with the phrase, thank you, Rick, on it. We didn't think the quarrel between these would continue very long, so we're glad that Lou appreciated and gave credit to Rick's work. The final storyline of the episode was about Katie and Parker's relationship. At the beginning of the episode, the most popular girl in the school texted Parker, and both were very excited about the text, thinking they were popular as well. But later, Katie realized that Parker and Sabrina had been texting all day without Parker telling Katie. We learned that Sabrina only texted Parker to get Katie's phone number so she could invite her to her party. But this mean girl, Sabrina, didn't even ask Parker, saying there was only one room at the party. When did Katie become the cool girl? We don't know. But in the end, Katie didn't go to Sabrina's party because she was rude to Parker. So Parker and Katie's relationship continued to be strong. That's very much what happened in episode 9. It seems like more will happen about Finn and Amy's relationship. but. We don't really know if more scenes were shot with Robert Cormier before he passed away. We could hear his voice in this episode, but will we be able to see him for the rest of the season? Despite what happens, it sure looks like Jack will continue to have problems with this relationship. We just hope Amy doesn't get hurt. Did you like this episode? Are you excited for the rest of the season? Tell us what you think in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos about Heartland. See you soon!